Welcome back to News at Prime and thank you very much for staying with us. Now, an organization promoting better eating habits is calling on government to increase sugar tax in order to ease the burden on health care. The Healthy Living Alliance says the country needs to treat the promotion of healthier lifestyles more seriously. News in Africa, Zikona Chona filed this report. Nosi Pomsiza is a young woman determined to change lifestyles. After being diagnosed with hypertension, she turned her fear into a community project to educate people about non-communicable diseases. When the nurse diagnosed me that I have hypertension and I need to start medication, like as in medically, so I had to negotiate with her. Well, I'm not saying people should do that, but um, I negotiated with her. I was like, no, I'm not ready to take medication. This is my body and it is I who live in this body. I, w I want to lose weight and I would make a lifestyle audit. And then I'll come back, just give me a grace of three months and I'll come back. And if the numbers um, are not changed yet, then it's fine. I will gladly take the medication without no hesitation in it. And then, yeah, uh, she gave me the grace. Um, uh, I came back home and then I, I had to make lifestyle choices, good lifestyle choices. She cut out sugar and started a vegetable garden at the back of her home. She manages her hypertension by just maintaining a healthy lifestyle and she is sharing her journey to good health. I then uh, established um, five kilometer walks in my, in my community, five kilometer walks and 10 kilometer road race, just to, to encourage the culture of um, healthy, active lifestyle and educating other people that you can beat NCDs only if you are willing to do the work. A lot of people were, were supportive if you were not, hi, um, Zimbabwe, this is your body. Um, why are you chima? You're still going to gain it back. It was a figure and you're going to gain back the weight that you've lost. You are fine, girl. Um, gini kuli niso, niso gini, you know. And you're like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Yes, I may come from an obese family, but I don't want to be obese anymore. Her gardening project moved from the back of her home to a local school and is now in a bigger plot at a local hospital. She's joined hands with other youths from her community with the hope of turning the project into a business. Gloria Mjalose is a healthcare worker who beat COVID-19 last year. She's hypersensitive and diabetic. <laughs> She says the one thing surviving COVID-19 has done for her is change her eating habits. Caesar's garden is aimed at keeping people like Mglalose's healthy goals on track by making healthy foods affordable. She's working with the Healthy Living Alliance and has joined their call on government to use the fight against the spread of the coronavirus to create public awareness about non-communicable diseases. The organization says now more than ever is the time to implement action to create a healthier society through increasing tax on sugary items. We are proposing that government seriously consider um, increasing you know, health taxes, in particular the health promotion levy, to actually fund the vaccine. We will put a submission that will break down um, if we were to increase the health promotion level, the sugary drinks tax from 11% to 20%, how many vaccine um, shots will we purchase, you know? Mbalati says this also needs to be seen as a way of decreasing the burden on the healthcare system. If you look at the non-communicable disease, they are silent killers. So you, you, you don't consum, consume tobacco today or consume unhealthy food or beverages today and become sick tomorrow. Um, I don't think government has done enough um, to raise this as a national and a political issue. The Healthy Living Alliance says this is all in a bid to help people have healthier habits. Maybe they'll turn into hobbies or even business ventures like Msiza with this vegetable garden